The last time I made a proper stop motion video, I was 12 or 13 and was animating Lego. I had planned a series called 101 Ways to Kill a Lego Droid. I thought it was time to try stop motion again, so I decided to animate my phone. Let me show you how I did it. I first filmed the actions taking place inside the phone. To achieve this top-down angle, I duct taped two legs of a tripod onto a table, leaned the tripod forwards, and using a rope, attached the tripod head to a curtain rod to stop it from falling. A little precarious, but it works. Once the sequence was edited together, it was converted to 12 frames a second and exported as an image sequence. I then transferred all the frames onto an old phone of mine. For each frame of the stop motion, I just had to swipe to the next photo on the phone. I thought it would be better to capture as much as possible in camera instead of having to superimpose this footage in post. Before I started shooting, I turned the brightness all the way up and turned off the automatic screen rotation feature to avoid having the image spinning during the stop motion. I also placed small pieces of blue tack on the corners of the phone to stop it from sliding. My Panasonic GH4 was set to animation mode and was connected to my laptop via the free software Elmaster. And finally I bought a remote which made the whole process so much easier. Then it was time to animate. To make the phone rise up in the top down shot, I used these plasticine blobs of various sizes and swapped between them where necessary. To make the phone stand up on its own, I built this very high tech stop motion rig that consists of metal wire and an L-clamp. I just clamped this intertwined wire onto the table and hot glued and duct taped the end of the wire to the back of the phone case. It was quite rudimental and fiddly, but it did the job. To get the phone to do a backflip, I duct taped the phone to a drill and spun it around first slowly and then quickly in order to get some real motion blur. In post, all I had to do was remove the wire using some masking, add some sound design and music, and the video was complete. You can subscribe for more creative experiments, or follow me on Instagram to see them there as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.